For today's video, we will explore five of the world's most futile mega projects, including a virtually empty capital city designed for millions and a $17 billion US project that remains unused and pointless. Number 5. Interstate H3, Hawaii In Hawaii, there exists a breathtakingly scenic highway that was initially proposed in 1960 with defense purposes in mind, aiming to connect the Pearl Harbor Naval Base to the Marine Corps Air Station. However, environmental groups and native Hawaiians expressed concerns over the potential urbanization impact, leading to opposition against its construction. As a result, the project faced significant delays due to environmental laws and the need to alter the route to protect the surrounding valleys. Eventually, after 26 years, Congress intervened by exempting the project from environmental laws, allowing construction to commence in 1989. After nearly 37 years from its original proposal, the H3 Interstate Highway was finally opened in 1997, earning a reputation as an engineering marvel due to the challenging terrain it traverses and the cutting-edge construction techniques employed, such as high-tech tunnels and viaducts to preserve the valleys below. However, delays, route alterations, and costly technologies resulted in a final cost that was five times over the original budget, amounting to $1.3 billion or approximately $50 million per kilometer, making it the world's most expensive highway per kilometer. Despite its massive budget, critics argue that the H3 Interstate Highway is a road to nowhere due to its lack of direct access to downtown Honolulu and the outdated defense considerations that originally inspired its construction. Additionally, many native Hawaiians refused to use the highway because of the destruction of culturally significant sites during its completion, leading them to consider it cursed. While the H3 highway stands as a significant megaproject achievement, it remains useless to certain native groups. Nevertheless, it is still in use, unlike the next project on our list. Number 4. Ciudad Real Central Airport, Spain Ciudad Real Central Airport was envisioned as a prime travel destination for both Spanish and international holidaymakers due to Spain's popularity as a European vacation spot. The airport was designed to relieve overcrowding at Madrid's primary airport, offering a viable alternative for travelers. Boasting one of Europe's top five longest runways, the new airport could handle up to 2 million passengers per year, a fraction of Madrid's capacity of 70 million. Nonetheless, plans to expand the airport's capacity to 10 million passengers per year were already underway. Following its operational launch in 2009, the Ciudad Real Central Airport's staggering $1.3 billion expense initially appeared justifiable. Unfortunately, the project faced a major setback in 2012 when the company responsible for its development filed for bankruptcy. The primary issue stemmed from the airport's location. Despite being named the Central Airport, it was situated 200 kilometers away from Madrid, rendering it anything but central. This geographical disadvantage was exacerbated by passengers' reluctance to travel hours to reach the remote location, leading major airlines to prioritize flight operations from the capital instead. Within the first year of opening, the airport saw a sharp decline in traffic and was ultimately reduced to accommodating a single small-time airline. Without significant airline partnerships to attract more passengers, the airport accrued a staggering debt of $350 million by 2012. It eventually went into receivership and was put up for auction in 2013, gaining notoriety as an abandoned location after being featured on the popular British TV show Top Gear in 2014. Despite multiple failed auctions, including a paltry $12,000 bid, the airport was finally sold to new owners in 2019. Number 3. Napyada, Myanmar Unlike Ciudad de Real, this is not a remote airport. It is the capital of Myanmar. The country's former military leadership embarked on the construction of a completely new capital in 2002, initially keeping it secret. While the location of a capital city is not unprecedented, with countries like Brazil, Egypt, and Pakistan having done so in the past, Myanmar's leaders only announced their decision to the public in November 2005. The name of the new capital, Napyadaw, meaning the king's residence, was revealed four months later. 
The decision to shift the capital from Yangon to Napyudaw was driven by several factors related to the former capital. Yangon, with its population of 7 million people, was believed to have reached its infrastructural capacity and projections indicated that its population would double by 2050. Additionally, as a coastal city, Yangon was initially established as the capital during British rule primarily to serve the interests of the British Navy. Given these circumstances, it made sense for Myanmar to relocate the capital to a more central location. The construction of Napyudaw was executed swiftly, with successive governments investing a total of $4 billion into the city to date. The new capital boasts numerous features designed to attract visitors, including a remarkable 20-lane highway, over 100 luxurious hotels spread across three hotel districts, golf courses, museums, and even a 99-meter-tall replica of a prominent landmark from Yangon. Despite the massive investment of $4 billion, Napyadaw remains a ghost town with less than a million residents mostly living in the suburbs that existed before the new capital was built. The city has all the modern amenities, but it lacks essential components like quality education, health facilities, and economic opportunities. This lack of infrastructure has prevented people from making Napyadaw their permanent home, making the city feel deserted. While Napyadaw may currently appear barren, there is a glimmer of hope for the royal capital, designed as a city for the future. It has the potential for redemption as Myanmar's population continues to grow rapidly. However, at present, Napyadaw remains arguably the world's strangest capital and remains of little use to a significant portion of the country's population. Number 2. Forest City, Malaysia Forest City's proximity to Singapore, one of the world's busiest ports, and a thriving economic hub makes it an attractive investment opportunity for many. The city has been connected to Singapore through the Second Link Bridge, which has reduced the distance between the two cities to just 20 minutes. Forest City will have its own customs facility, enabling residents to move freely between the two cities. The city's streets will be multi-layered, with a lower layer designated for traffic and parking, while the upper layer will feature parks, sports facilities, and transport hubs. Additionally, Forest City will rely exclusively on renewable energy and is set to be completed by 2035 at a cost of $100 billion. One of the four proposed islands is already close to completion with 50 apartment buildings, golf courses, swimming pools, and beaches. Forest City's development faces various challenges that pose significant economic and political obstacles. A major obstacle is that the project relies heavily on funding from China. During the initial years of construction, Chinese residents were the primary beneficiaries, causing wealthy Chinese investors to flock the forest city to escape soaring property prices in their home country. As a result, by 2019, 80% of the property owners were Chinese, and even street signs were written in Mandarin. This situation has left the local Malaysians unable to afford these apartments.